Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a diamond ring, a special trinket that you can pass on to your friends or even store up for that special day, for that special someone. So step one, let's go ahead and let's create the diamond. Select the shape tool, specifically the polygon tool. Now if you're not okay with an eight-sided polygon, today I'm going to be using a six-sided one. So I'm going to type in six, enter, and then I'm going to drag out the polygon shape to whatever size I want my diamond to be at. Next thing I need to do is lay a vertical line from the center of this polygon. So I'm going to dra draw a line upwards. I'm going to say about 100. There you go. And then I will lay another polygon on top of this one. Six-sided once again, but it's going to be slightly smaller this time than the one I laid on the origin. I'll click there. Next thing to do is just connect up the points. So I'm just going to work around my diamond or the top of it. You'll see its shape starting to form, arguably looking pretty nice right now. All right. Once this is complete, draw a line down from the bottom of your polygon shape. And then once again, connect up the lines point to point to create a beautiful diamond shape. Almost done. And for added effect, I'm going to color my diamond red. The next thing to do is create a beautiful bracket for our beautiful diamond. So I'm going to highlight everything, right click on it, and then group it. From here, I'm going to take the bottom point, and I'm going to move it up to the origin. This will make things easy for me as I move into creating my bracket. Now I'm going to need a line that, which represents the uh, maximum width of my diamond. Now you could go about measuring, you know, side to side like so and that's 367 and a half, but I'm going to choose an easier route for this process. I'm first going to choose um, View, and I'm going to do Face Styles X-Ray, and then what I'll do is I'll draw a line on my group across the diamond. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do is select that line that I drew across my diamond. It's inside my group right now. I'm going to take the midpoint and lower it down to the origin, like so all the way down. All right. <clears throat> Next thing to do is to take a vertical line down from this width and it should look like this. All the way up to my diamond shape. And then I'm going to going to want to draw a line up the top side of my diamond. You can then delete away. Well, actually don't delete away that line yet. Just take it from here. All right, so once these are all laid down, I can select each of these three lines individually by taking the arrow tool, selecting one line, holding down shift, and selecting the other two. And then I want you to move it slightly off of your diamond. Now in order to get the slope of this bottom edge, I'm going to take the diamond or the line tool again, go from this corner all the way down to the origin, and then go ahead and delete inner portion of my triangle. All right, so at this point I can change the face style back, view, face style away from x-ray, and you'll see that I have a um, crooked line and I have my diamond. So now it's time to create a rounded uh, bracket for our diamond. So step one, let's create a square, 50 comma 50. Those are the dimensions which will work for my diamond bracket. Then I'm going to start creating some grid-like pattern within my square, like so. I'm then going to take the circle tool, move to midpoints, and drag out, like so. I can then take the eraser tool and start deleting away the cornered edges. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to zoom out slightly take my uh, line and move it to the midpoint of my corner bracket. 
or my rounded um, square. Now before I continue I need to delete away all these extra lines that I used for measuring the size of the um, circles. So slowly or actually quickly move around my object. Then all I need to do is I need to select these two lines, go to tools, follow me, and select the bottom portion, and there you go, there's one bracket for us. Alright, time to make more brackets. So I'm gonna take the circle tool, lay down a circle, extrude it up slightly. I'm then going to establish the midpoint of my circle. Now at this point it would definitely help to align your midpoint with the axes. So as I draw a line up parallel to the red axis it turns red and then parallel to green it also turns green. I'm going to make sure that this first bracket is grouped by highlighting everything and then grouping it. I'm then going to take the move tool and move it to the center of the circle I just extruded up. From here, all I need to do is take the rotate tool, move it onto the center of the circle, hold down option to make a copy, and then gradually rotate this thing around 270 degrees. Click again, and then type in divide by three, enter, and it creates an array of those brackets around the circle, four of them to be exact. So my bracket's done, my diamond's done, all that's left is to create a ring. So for this, I'm going to draw out a circle. <clears throat> I'm going to offset this circle slightly inwards, and then extrude it up. Delete away the surface within it. Okay, there we go, there's the beginning of my ring. I'm then going to select the external perimeter on the top, select the move tool, make a copy of that perimeter and move it downwards so it, it's on the face like so. Alright, because I didn't group the ring to begin with before I made the copy, this line is now stuck to the face of um, the ring. So if I was to highlight everything, or actually just select that perimeter and then select scale, as I move it out you'll see that it deforms the ring slightly. So I'm just going to move it out just to stylize the sides of my ring so it's just not a, a boring tire shape. <coughs> Alright. And then what I'll do is I'm going to insert the bracket right here on the part of my ring which is sticking out a little bit more. The bulge if you will. So then I'm going to highlight everything too and color it yellow. Alright, so there are all the pieces that I need for my ring and all that's left now is to assemble everything. Behold my assembled diamond ring. I think it looks pretty great. Now the challenge will be when you design something like this, figuring out a way to install the diamond within the bracket because we're not going to be able to print all of those together. It would be a lot cooler if we were able to install the diamond in there. So I leave that challenge up to you. Make sure to solid inspect your object frequently and also turn it into groups when you start moving it around you know, to assemble it.